Guys, this is England in May. I wouldn't have thought that we've got better weather in England than in Portugal, but that's what it is. This is the grounds of Hartwich Buddhist Monastery in Devon, Ajahn Jutindaro. And I'm just showing you where I'm doing some walking meditation in the sun and some nice green English lawn with the daisies and the buttercups. Uh, I think we should also walk across to the courtyard here of the monastery. So we are walking across now. Here's a little car park. Father's always parking. And uh, here we can see the fantastic new Dhamma Hall. Under the guidance of Ajanjo Tindavo. Here's the central courtyard, a little Buddha statue, white in the center on this beautiful green English lawn. Uh, now we're getting the view of the old part. In the beginning, they only had this very old and very English quirky building. Until recently, they built this extension, which you can see now. Uh, wide uh, facilities, uh, bathrooms, visitor accommodation, the central uh, portico and entrance hall, and then to the left, the uh, very beautifully done um, Dhamma Hall. Uh, slowly developing a real English architectural Buddhist style. All these monasteries, Amaravati, Chetras, and now Hartwich Monastery in Devon are somewhat similar with the uh, open timber structure visible. Uh, quite simple. And very traditional style, so these buildings do not uh, stand out or not really misfits within the English countryside. They fit in well, they blend in well, but they uh, at the same time are clearly monastic buildings, clearly Buddhist buildings. And this monastery also has a great amount of all different Buddha statues standing, sitting, stone, metal, uh, different traditions. You can see in the blazing English sun. <laughs> Two little chimneys on top. We still have this old oven. The big fireplace haven't been used for a long time, but they still have an oven which they put on in the center of this old house in winter. And now we maybe walk in here and we can have a little look inside at the portico. The entrance wall, we can put down the shoes, take off the shoes. Here, one of all these many Buddha statues, quite a beautiful one. Standing Buddha, it looks a little bit Tibetan style almost to me. Uh, metal. Here, the four pouring gel merits. And here we enter now the actual Dhamma Hall. Pushing in. This is a Dhamma Hall. Beautifully done. You see it goes up very high. And the kind of English Buddhist 21st century architecture, 21st century Buddhist architecture in England. Somewhat similar to huge ancient traditional buildings, timber, uh, not even using nails or screws, but uh, wooden plugs, as you can see there. A little bit closer here, we see these wooden plugs which secure the structural beams. And generally, you know, the uh, whole structural architecture, the big timber beams holding it all together, clearly visible. And very beautiful. And here the main Buddha statue. Upacha in the center. 
to the left Lumpur Sumedho, another photo of Lumpur Cha on the right, and the Pra Buddha Deva Vihan, little word play on Devon Vihara. Hartwich Buddhist Monastery was first known as Devon Vihara, according to the uh, county Devon, and later changed to Hartwich. But here, uh, for the Buddha statue, the official name, they turned it into not Devon Vihara, but Deva Vihara. And this is how it feels, at least for me. It's a little bit like being in Deva Loka. And this is a view you have outside this beautiful English lawn with the almost stupa-like pile of natural stones and the little Buddha statue sitting, green everywhere, spring, end of May, as you imagine it from the picture books. Another little Buddha sitting. All around. This is a side where it goes up the hill. There's only tiny windows because there's a slope right behind. Yeah, where you enter and exit, some chairs at the back. And further around, and the view outside. I'll get you closer there. This is what you look out to. Couldn't be more English. I always thought it can't get more English than Chitta Viveka Chithurst. But I would think this one here is at least as English as Chitta Viveka. As you imagine it. To be an old bloity. Except for the weather. The weather is more like Australia. Bright sunny blue skies. Okay, probably enough to give you all an idea. Take care.